first we have 5073 times 7. So we start by multiplying the digit furthest to the right, and 3 times 7 is 21, which we need to write as 2, 1, with the first digit above the next digit that we're going to multiply. Now we have 7 times 7, which is 49, but we need to add the 2 above, and 49 plus 2 is 51, which we need to write as 5, 1. Now, 0 times 7 is 0, but we need to add the 5 on top, and 0 plus 5 is 5. Finally, 5 times 7 is 35, we've got nothing to add, and we don't have any more digits to the left, so we can just write 35 in our answer line. So our answer is 35,511. Now, 64 times 52. So we're going to multiply 64 by 2 in our first answer line, then we're going to multiply 64 by the 5 tens in our second answer line, and then we're going to add up our answer lines. 4 times 2 is 8, and 6 times 2 is 12. So, we can now multiply by the 5 digits, we don't have any working to cross out, but we need to remember to always write a zero in the in the ones column of our second answer line, because we're now multiplying 64 by the 5 tens. So 4 times 5 is 20, so that's 2, 0. So the 2 is above the next digit that we're going to multiply. So now 6 times 5 is 30, plus 2 is 32. So finally, we just add up our answer lines, and our answer is 3,328. 816 times 36. So for our first answer line, we're going to multiply 816 by 6. Then for our second answer line, we're going to multiply 816 by our three tens, and then, like we did here, we're going to add up our answer lines. 6 times 6 is 36, so that's 3, 6. On to the next digit, 1 times 6 is 6, but we've got 3 above that we need to add, so 1 times 6 is 6, plus 3 is 9. And now, 8 times 6 is 48. So now, we're going to multiply by the 3 in our tens. But before we do that, let's cross out our working so we don't get confused. And we need a 0 in our second answer line. Now, 6 times 3 is 18. So that's 1, 8 with the 1 above the next digit that we're going to multiply. 1 times 3 is 3, plus the 1 on top is 4, and now 8 times 3 is 24. So we can add up our answer lines, 6 plus 0 is 6, 9 plus 8 is 17, so 1, 7, 1 plus 8 plus 4 is 13, so 1, 3, 1 plus 4 plus 4 is 9, nothing plus 2 is 2. So our answer is 29,376. Now, 5,907 times 57. We start by multiplying 7 times 7, which is 49, so 4, 9. On to our next digit, 0 times 7 is 0, but we need to add the 4 on top, and 0 plus 4 is 4. On to the next digit, 9 times 7 is 63, 
So that's 6, 3, with the 6 above the next digits that we're going to multiply. So now, 5 times 7 is 35, and 35 plus 6 is 41. So now, for our second answer line, we're going to multiply by the 5 in our tens. But first, let's cross out our working and write a 0 in our second answer line. 7 times 5 is 35, so that's 3, 5, with the 3 above the next digits that we're going to multiply. 0 times 5 is 0, plus the 3 on top is 3. 9 times 5 is 45, so that's 4, 5, with the 4 above the next digits that we're going to multiply. So now 5 times 5 is 25, plus 4, 25 plus 4 is 29. So let's add up our answer lines. 9 plus 0 is 9, 4 plus 5 is 9, 3 plus 3 is 6, 1 plus 5 is 6, 4 plus 9 is is 13, so 1, 3, and 1 plus 2 is 3. Now we have division, so first let's do 9612 divided by 6. Remember, when we're dividing, we start with the first digit, so we have 9 divided by 6. That's 1 remainder 3. Because 1 times 6 is 6, but then we need 3 more to get to 9. Now, for our next digit, because we have the remainder 3 in front of it, we have 36 divided by 6. Well, 36 is in the 6 times table. That's exactly 6 times 6. And because we're dividing by a number that's in the times table here, we don't have a remainder. So we don't have anything to write in front of this 1, because 6 times 6 is exactly 36. So now, on to the next digit, we have 1 divided by 6. That's 0 remainder 1 because 0 times 6 is 6, sorry, because 0 times 6 is 0, but then we need one more from 0 to get to 1. So now finally, we have 12 divided by 6, which is exactly 2. Now, let's try 1,232 divided by 7. If we take the first digit, we can see that it's a 1, which is less than 7. So if the first digit is less than the divisor, there's two different things that you can do. 1 divided by 7 is 0 remainder 1, so we could write 0 up here and then a 1 in front of the 2. But I find it quicker when the first digit is less than the divisor to just take the first two digits together and do 12 divided by 7. So that's 1 remainder 5, because 1 times 7 is 7, but to get to 12 from 7, you need 5 more, so that 5 is our remainder. So now we have 53 divided by 7. Well, 7 times 7 is 49, and then from 49, we need 4 more to get to 53. So that's 7 remainder 4, because 7 times 7 is 49, and 49 plus 4 gives us the 53. So finally, we have 42 divided by 7. Well, 42 is in the 7 times table. That's exactly 6 times 7, so our answer is 176. Now, let's do 9,361 divided by 4. Taking the first digit, we have 9 divided by 4. 
that's 2 remainder 1. Because 2 times 4 is 8, but then from 8 we need 1 more to get to 9. Now we have 13 divided by 4. Well, 3 times 4 is 12, but then from 12 we need 1 more to get to 13. So that's 3 remainder 1. Now 16 divided by 4. Well, 16 is in the 4 times table. That's exactly 4 times 4. So we don't have any remainder because 4 times 4 is exactly 16. But now we have 1 divided by 4. Well, 1 obviously isn't in the 4 times table, which means we will have a remainder. We have 0 remainder 1, because 0 times 4 is 0, but then we need 1 more to get to 1. So our answer is 2,340 remainder 1. Now, 4,917 divided by 5. Well, if we look at the first digit, we can see that it's less than the number we're dividing by. So, I like to take the first two digits together when this happens. So, we can divide 49 by 5. Well, 9 times 5 is 45, but then from 45, we need 4 more to get to 49. So, that's 9 remainder 4. And notice, because we took the first two digits together, I'm writing the 9 above the second digit, not above the first digit. Now, 41 divided by 5. Well, 8 times 5 is 40, but then from 40 to get to 41, we need one more. So that 1 is our remainder. 8 times 5 is 40, plus 1 is 41. Now we have 17 divided by 5. Again, 17 isn't in the 5 times table, so we'll have a remainder in our answer. 3 times 5 is 15, but then from 15, we need to count on 2 more to get to 17. So our answer for this digit is 3 remainder 2, because 3 times 5 is 15, but then we need 2 more to get to 17. So our answer to the question is 983 remainder 2.